Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to build a TCP server with a five connection pool using QThread pool class. Here we just created a basic Qt console project called my Qt TCP server. First of all, when we build this kind of application, we have to include a network because we are going to use a TCP socket and TCP server. And, uh, and uh, then we have to build a class called my TCP server. That is called class called my TCP server, which is inherited from Q TCP server. In this TCP server, we have to be include my Q TCP server, TCP socket, TCP thread pool, and the IO stream. And uh, so we have to add a new method, create a new method called start server. And under protected, we have to inherit our new method called incoming connection, which once a client called the server connection, they'll be triggered this method called the incoming connection with the handle. And uh, we will be create a member called uh, the member of this class is a thread pool. We call the star uh, pointer pools. So under the my TCP server implementation, when the, when the constructor, we just uh, Start the pool with new Q thread pool of this, and uh, for the TCP Q thread pool, they have a few of them properties. One of properties is called the maximum thread count, which we can set up how many thread for this pool we can set up. So in the example here. We just set up a five, so we are maximum five. If there's a six connection, there's a five will be going, in and the six will be wait. Once any of these five will be completed, and the six is continue. So, and when the server start method, when there's this server, we are listening. What's we listening? The local host, and this is the port number. We just call the one two three four. So, and once client incoming request of the server coming, there will be very trigger this method, which is incoming connection with the handle. So we're going. What we're doing to do here? We just print out the incoming connection received. We just give the number, and we're going to create a runnable task called my connection run. And uh, we pass the handle called the socket descriptor to this uh, task. And uh, we set this task at auto delete. This is uh, when the, if for the memory flash, and that we just use and pull start this task. So if we look at the menu of pull start, so this is a pull start. Uh, will be this is a pool starter method. This is a pool starter automatic default. Pool start, try start. So this is start. Start method. It needs a runnable class, which is uh, like uh, the task we are going to use. So this is a starter. Reserve a thread and use it to run runnable. And this this thread will mark current thread count exceeded. So once uh, we can use the maximum thread count exceeded, will be wait. Otherwise, there will be reserve a thread to run this runnable. So this one here. So let's say our 
my connection wrong. So we're we going to add a circuit descriptor, which the type is QINTPDR. Why are we using this one? Because if we look at the sir, it's coming from there. It's an incoming connection past the handle. The type is QINTPDR. So we are runnable. We'll be using this type called a socket descriptor. And we just override a function. It's run, inherited from the Q runnable. So on our program, this once the Q runnable, what we do, we declare a buffer. And if there's no socket descriptor, we just return. Otherwise, we just instantialize my socket object and set my socket descriptor of this socket with the number which we received the handle from incoming. And if my socket is open, we just write back hello client, I'm server, and waiting, finish the writing on socket, we just flash socket, flash the memory. And uh, while this waiting for the read read, if uh, read read, we just read the old socket from client into the buffer, and uh, we just print out to see on the server what we received. If uh, not as quit, we just write back. So let's just uh, compile this, build this. Okay, so perfect. So now this is RS main LTR on the Linux. This is the runnable, executable of my QTCB server. So when we run it, this server started successfully on the local house part of 1234. In preview video, we have demonstrated how to build a client. So here we have two client and from previous video, which is connect to the local host of 1234 power. So we just use client one, so we click connect. It serves the income connection receive, number six. We say client one, so server connected successfully. Okay. Hello client, I'm server. So we just click, this is server receive, hello client, this is client one. And we received the hello, this is client one. So if we click this one, this is server two is coming with the end. So it's is client two. So so we can see we server received the number eight is client two. So in case his, you can see our server can handle two connections, is the six contemporarily. So six is two. So we have two client, and the hello. This is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful it is useful, enjoyable, and it's going to be great to have your feedback.